just freaking great. Announced today that the dang college football playoff is expanding. <sighs> well, this is pretty much terrible news. Uh, if you're one of those people, one of those freaking numb nuts running around celebrating at this news, uh, no, it's pretty much bad news. I am unhappy at this development because I, I don't think it's good for the sport. I mean, what can I say? Uh, expanded playoff is like the shiny freaking like prize that everybody's been, uh, you know, trying to get after. And it's like, <sighs> it's just not a good idea. Okay. And it's happening. So there's no point in me freaking bitching about it. And we got games played. Like they couldn't announce this or do this during the off season to give us something to talk about for me to bitch about during the off season. I mean, my freaking jackets are about to get going here and i'm gonna have plenty to bitch about as far as that goes but now i got this on top of my plate too it's so unfortunate <sighs> why in the hell do we need 12 a 12 team playoff man there are not more than a lot of times two teams a year that could win a national championship and i mean what so what's the point of adding 12 i mean Look, every, like, all but, like, five or, or less playoff games up until this point have been blowouts. And that's not going to change. Okay, so I get it. Like, I get the concept of the 12. You know, your top four seeds get a bye, right? And so that forces the four best teams to, like, get out of it. And they, and they you know, <laughs> they, okay, they're set aside so they can't, they don't get to blow anybody out in the first round. So the first round games are going to be great. Well, the second round games are going to be pointless and and boring. And guess what? This is you think this is going to help parity or whatever? It's not. This means that Ohio State, Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma, Georgia will never miss the playoffs. Never miss the playoffs. Think about that. If this is if this if you're excited for <laughs> you know, that this is going to give other teams to get to a chance. Well, you know, Georgia now, for example, or Alabama, they used to have, used to have this, you know, tight rope, this tight leash. If they messed up once, it was over. Well, now they have this longer leash and, you know, whatever, they can drop two or three games and they're going to get in every single year. And so I hope you're ready for that. I hope that's what you want. I mean, <laughs> And, and if you're okay with that, well, you think it's going to create better round one games. Well, round two games are going to be terrible and not worth watching. And it's going to be like, like if you're thinking this is going to solve the opt-out problem, which kind of what is what I thought. But if you think about it uh, more, well, the opt-out problem, <laughs> back in the day, you know, when you had all these amazing New Year's Six games, it was inconceivable to think, of the you know meaningless bowl game term uh the meaning it was inconceivable and right now in this moment it is inconceivable to consider a thing such as a meaningless playoff game well i guarantee you it's going the term meaningless playoff game will surface on down the road and so you'll start start to see players of the shitty teams that are just going to get blown out in the second round they'll start opting out too I mean, it's, 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 you know, what, why would they, why would they play in the playoffs if, you know, they could get hurt in the playoffs just as much as a bowl game. You're not going to make the playoffs anyway. So it, I mean, it, 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 it's inconceivable to think right now, but think back to before they expanded, you know, before they went to the 14 playoff, it was inconceivable to think that, um, all of our bowl games can go. And so now I don't know, I think it devalues the regular season games I mean, the the regular season now is all about, you know, once you get towards the end of the year, it's all about who's in, who's going to make the playoffs. All, all It's all playoff coverage. You can't watch you can't watch any game towards the end of the year, whether it's a bowl game or just, you know, the regular season games towards the end of the year without the entire focus being on the playoffs. And it's seen as if, if it has no playoff stakes, then it's meaningless. And that's just not what I want to see. That's not what college football should be about it's you know that that kind of thing is for the nfl okay 
you know, there's certain things here that the college football sets itself apart from, you know, any other sport that makes it, um, that that's what makes college football so good. And that's one of the things is the regular season is the best regular season in any sport ever. Um, so, you know, the more you, you add to it, I mean, the, the less value it, it has. I mean, so if you're cool with that, if you want it all to be about the playoffs, I guess have at it. Then if you never want Alabama's and everybody else to make it, I mean, the system, the way it is now, G5 team made it into the playoffs last year for the first time ever and got blown out. It's going to happen every year now. But, I mean, it, it's not like they never had a chance. They, Of course they did, you know. They need to prove themselves more. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just not good. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing for the sport. So, not happy about it, but, I mean, pretty soon we're going to be having, I mean, what's going on here? We got players transferring, like, you have an entirely different roster from one year to the next. I mean, you got players, you know, being bought in the open now. There's no rules in regards to NIL. You're about to have, you're about to have freaking Rutgers playing Southern California in a conference game. Like, what the hell's going on, man? I mean, I guess I'm like an old man shaking my fist at the clouds, but I mean, what the hell is going on, dude? This is not, this is not what I grew up on or, you know, this is not what any of us have come to love about college football. I'm just going to say it. So nothing I can do about it. All I can do is angrily yell into my phone about it. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, you know. I grow every day. I grow more and more concerned about the uh, status of my Yellow Jackets and other lesser teams, uh, as far as conference realignment goes, of us getting boxed out and stuff like that. But um, nothing I can do about it, but bitch. So I'm gonna do just that, anyways. Yo Jackets. You know what? The season's here. I'm freaking stoked about it. I'm gonna focus on that. Um, I've got plenty of time to bitch about this in the off season. So anyway, see you guys later.